The coronavirus that we have been talking about in the last couple of months um, is a virus that comes from a family of viruses called coronaviruses. Uh, and this virus causes uh, cough and cold-like symptoms and respiratory symptoms um, and has now been named SARS-CoV-2. Uh, and that's because it's very similar in its genetic makeup to the SARS virus that circulated in China in 2002 and 2003. The most common symptoms of infection with SARS-CoV-2, uh, which is being referred to now as COVID-19, so COVID-19 is the disease that SARS-CoV-2 causes, um, are largely uh, cough and flu-like symptoms. So uh, fever with muscle aches and pains uh, and a dry cough. And some people, uh, only a very small proportion of people may go on to develop a viral pneumonia which might make it difficult for them to breathe. The people who are more likely to have a severe infection and develop a viral pneumonia or difficulty breathing tend to be those in the older age groups over the age of 60 and those with underlying medical problems or a weakened immune system. It's only about 15%, 15 to 20 percent of people infected who develop a pneumonia and might need uh, breathing support in hospital. People are not cured from the virus as such, but it's actually their immune system that is able to fight off the virus itself. So there is no specific medicine that will treat this viral infection at the moment. Uh, the treatments that people will receive in hospital are for those more with very severe illness and those are to support the person until such time as their immune system is able to fight off the infection. A vaccine is in development at the moment uh, but it hasn't uh, passed safety trials yet and so it will be several months before a vaccine is available. The most effective way to protect yourself from um, SARS-CoV-2 infection is to regularly wash your hands or use alcohol uh, hand sanitizer gel. The reason for this is that one of the ways the virus is transmitted is when someone who's unwell coughs or sneezes into their hand and touches a surface or shakes hands with someone, then somebody else touching that surface or shaking hands can then transfer the virus onto their own hands. And if they touch their face or their mouth, or they eat something using their hands without washing them first, they could become infected. For people who are ill, um, wearing a mask, any form of mask, will reduce at least the spread of the droplets that they cough and sneeze out. But for people who are healthy, um, there isn't much evidence for any form of protection, really, by wearing a flimsy surgical mask. People in the UK don't need to be too concerned at the moment because we don't have ongoing person-to-person -person transmission of uh, SARS-CoV-2 in the UK at the moment. However, we have recently seen a large outbreak develop in Italy and that has caused secondary cases in many European countries. So it's important that we are vigilant uh, for the arrival of the infection in the UK. It is possible to contain this, but to contain it properly, we need to ensure that everybody is on board with the public being willing to self-isolate if they think that they've been exposed to the virus, either through travel or through contact with a confirmed case. Uh, and we need people to engage with the public health advice that is being shared and to actively wash their hands regularly to try and prevent onward spread of infection.